Hey everybody, Danny Shea here. Um, I'm adding this to the front of the video. Uh, quick note, I got hacked, my email got hacked um, from, from YouTube. It was off of my pumpkin head comment. And I don't know how they got my email address, but they did. I changed the password which is a reminder, keep your passwords up to date and keep them changed, keep them big. Anyway, um, if you get an email from me wanting, asking you to go to WhatsApp, send money to somebody, do something, it was a weird rambling email. Hmm, I wonder who wrote it, rambling emails. Sharks, batteries. I don't think he did, but anyway, um, it was it was really weird, kind of disturbing. So um, just be be careful. Um, if you get something and they ask you to do something, there's a good chance that it's not me. Okay, so that's in the front. Now I'm gonna get to the video. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining. I'm Danny Shea. You're not. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel. A couple of things I want to look at today. The first one is just the weak energy that we're dealing with. <laughs> weak, like not strong. Um, no, the, the, the weekly energies that we are dealing with. And I'm using my Prism Oracle deck. I'm just gonna pull three just to see where we are with this. And then we'll get into some other stuff. Oh, ooh, protection. I've been getting this a lot. Protection, hmm. Energy. I need more of that. Maybe it's because I'm not protecting my energy. <laughs> and passion. What are we passionate about? So for me, as I look at these three cards, there is definitely a need um, to protect our energy from this crazy, this craziness that we're seeing in all the media. Um, one of the things that they were talking about the other, was it yesterday, was a lot of the Fox News was having an article um, and showing clips of Biden kind of wandering off. And what he was doing was giving thumbs up to um, some parachuters. And even, um, my wife was watching Jon Stewart, and even she was saying, yeah, Jon Stewart showed that he was not, not really giving a thumbs up to the parachuters. So in the video that I saw, and I think it was on Morning Joe, which I don't watch, but it was on a news feed that I, I pulled up, and it did show him congratulating the, the um, parachuters on the G7 world stage. Anyway, so you get all these different viewpoints of, of what's going on. And it drains your energy. I mean, it sucks the energy out of me. Which one's true? Do I watch the Fox channel and I go, oh my gosh, he really is like, you know, wandering off. And then you watch like a Jon Stewart and you go, oh, and it's true. And then you see something else and you go, oh, it's not true. It just sucks the life energy out of you. And it leaves you with very little passion. And is it? It's like leading you to little passion for the truth is what I just heard. So it's really important to um, 
protect this. Protect our our passions and don't let don't let the the energy suckers suck all our passion out for life. And that's kind of where this is going. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on that vein, and I love the way that the cards work. <laughs> it's so good because it just flows one into the other. Um, so on my news feed, I was looking at this and I think I'm going to pull into, into the awareness of the galactic shaman because when I was looking at how we protect our energy, how we survive in this climate. There was a beetle study, not the beetles, the Fab Four, but the beetles, the insect study, reveals the evolution complex chemical defenses millions of years ago that allowed bugs to diversify and spread worldwide. I'm like, okay, the 400,000 known beetle species, I think the operative word is known, represents about one quarter of all the discovered life forms. One quarter of the life forms on this planet are beetles? Is that right? Is that what I read? So I went in a little deeper. So, ranking the population on the planet, insects, 10 quintillion. So in case you don't know what a quintillion is, well, spend some time, instead of watching Fox News, looking up what a quintillion is, which is what I did. I, so I did not get my dose of Fox News today. Um, 1,000 billion. Now you go, I don't even know what a billion is. I know, but okay. So what's next? So we have insects, then we have fish at 3.5 trillion. Okay. Birds, 50 billion. Where are the humans? Come on now. Ah, here they are. 7.9 billion. Now I think that went up. I think we're in the eight or nine billion now, but still quite a ways from the 50 billion. Cattle is after humans, 1.5 billion. Six, bats. 20% mm. of all mammal species, bat populations are believed to be, uh, well, bats comprise 20% of all mammal species. Fruit bats and long tongue bats, key agents of pollination and seed dispersal alone, account for 2 billion. But if you, if you just take all of the bat species, tens to hundreds of billions. So we are just a little, little, little speck there. 8 billion. Plus, I, I don't know, this, this might have been an old study. So, um, I've, I was thinking about what is the, the chemical defenses. I, and I think of, you know, the, the MAGA cult, their leader. I mean, he's got chemical defenses that were on display on his trial. It didn't work very well. So... I'm just thinking, what does the, I'm going to ask the galactic shaman, what does this beetle study, what does the beetle have to say to us as far as um, evolution, as far as protections, as far as defenses? as far as staying in a higher vibrational, and well, and, you know, what does, what does the beetle, what does the beetle have to tell us? What can we learn from the beetle?
with his chemical defenses. I don't know much about beetles, got to tell you. I know that there's a stink beetle, and he's got a little pointed butt, and when he raises it, move your feet because you're going to get stunked. And skunks, speaking of chemical defenses, my neighbor, his dog got skunked. Oh, when he was out camping, oh my gosh. He comes back home and it's like, whoa! And then cleans his dog up. It still smells. <laughs> and then, like five days after, he finally gets the dog to a place where where he can tolerate the dog inside because it's just so bad. Dog gets skunked again. <laughs> now, a light skunk smell for me, I love it. I'm a little weird though, in case y'all didn't know. Here we go. What does the beetle, what can the beetle share with us? What knowledge does the beetle share with us, can share with us? I'm using my five cent tarot deck, it has a lot of bugs on it and stuff. And we're just going to do, um, and these are reversed and not reversed. So these cards here, just to show you, they're really cool. Um, Debbie at Freebird Spirit, I know she uses these sometimes. They're hard to read on YouTube because it's like, what are we looking at here? But they have little keywords on them too. So um, that's kind of cool. This is, I don't know what this is, attainment. I don't know. Oh, no. you got to look in the center to see what it is. This is the Knight of Pentacles. And it's reversed. So, um, rut routine, monotony being covered by the lovers. Commitment. Partnership, hmm, choices. I see where this is going. Um, injustice is at the bottom, and then we have the Knight of Cups, Heartless. I know where this is going already. Um, King of Matches, King of Fire, King of Wands, Poor Leader. And in the potential near future, um, the five of swords or five of needles, which is disagreement, winning at any cost. What I'm hearing with this spread is that in tapping into the, the galactic shaman, who is, has a foot in both worlds here, the world that he has this foot in is talking about respect for what we have and taking care of what we have. We're in this rut, we're in this routine that we keep just going through. And for me, that's like, oh, well, let me watch the news, let me see what's going on, blah, 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 blah. instead of like communing and changing and being in, out in nature more taking a commitment to find out what it is that we really love. Um, and yes, that is a moth. I'm not sure what moth that is, um, but there is a, an element to, um, to uh, uh, another, another um, plane of existence with this. And then we get into the Justice card reversed, the King of Cups reversed, and the King, I'm um, not yet, yeah, and the King of um, Wands reversed. And it's all about what we're doing to the planet, the injustice that we're doing to the planet, the heartlessness that we treat the planet with all these chemicals 
pumping in, pumping in. And we think, oh, we're defending our crops by spraying these chemicals on them. Well, that's the wrong chemical. Let's figure out maybe a beetle has a chemical that, that we can um, learn from so that we can be in balance um, in nature. And there's this poor leadership and I think, you know, I go back to the early 60s, better living through chemicals, Monsanto, DDT, and now Roundup, glyphosate. My sister-in-law died from cancer from glyphosate. Is it proven? You don't need to prove it to me. Yeah, right? So... Um, let's just keep going with this because let's just see, is there any, because right now the energy is that like we need to figure this out and we're battling with this. It's like, oh, the planet's going to take care of itself. I believe it will. However, we got to stop poisoning the planet. We got to stop somewhere. And when we have these climate deniers, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Okay, um, oh, here we go. Great. Eight of Cups, the inner journey. Eight of Cups says walking away. But it's a walking away to find oneself. And so it feels like the beetle energy is saying, walk, get back into nature. Find out who we are externally. Well, I love this. Um... At the top of this, it says change of heart. And this is the Ace of Cups. Um, so it's like if it was upright, this Ace of Cups, it's a new emotional start. This one, it's we need to switch gears. This is, this is um, a new thing that we're going towards, but it's totally different. It's like, this is the emotional start I wanted. No, let's, no, I was wrong. I mean, sometimes we, we um, have a passion for the wrong type of people. Bad boys, bad girls, right? We, ooh, yeah, let's go do that. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Oh, man, we're having a blast now. And it really isn't that great for us on a soul level. Right? Um, so it's a change. It's a change of priorities. It's, um, and it goes back to um, loving yourself, which is part of the eight of, eight of Cups, walking away to find oneself, the inner journey. The hopes and fears. Am I making any sense here? Hopes and fears. Um, four of Pentacles, Four of Buttons. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him. <laughs> oh, look at him. But he's reversed. Um, and this is all about defensiveness. This is all about there is no climate change, hanging on. Um, you know, oh, there's a fear of if we change, I'm going to lose money. I'm going to lose my possessions. If we don't change, we're going to lose the planet. And the final outcome The Fool, New Beginnings. And I like that this is the frog card on here um, because frogs really are the um, bell, uh, is that right? The bellwether? Frogs are really, they show us how well our water is. If our water isn't healthy, Frogs know it first, and fish too, but frogs, because they're, they're polywags. <laughs> Is that right? Polywags. So, from the beetle, the defenses, the chemical stinkiness that they emit, and I think they're going to be emitting these chemical stinky things to let us know the wisdom of the stinky beetle is to say, take care of the planet more. Come on now. Um, you got a new journey. If you can walk away 
from this possessiveness of um, chemical addiction, of, of thinking that you're not going to um, be able to sustain your lifestyle in the manner that you're accustomed to. And the manner that we're accustomed to changed so radically in my lifetime. And it's going to change even more in the next generation's lifetime. So now's the time to be the fool. Jump on the frog's back. Okay. I am going to pull um, some from True Black. What further information can you share from the Galactic Shaman? Does he have anything else to say that the Beetle hasn't already said? You know, so when I think about the Galactic, galactic Shaman um, in that energy, a lot of times it's in the in the star energy, but it's it's also in the beetle energy. So he's got he's got one foot in the stink of the beetle, and I gotta tell you, he does like that. It's kinda like me and skunks. And you may go, Danny, really? Why is that? Another story. Here we go. Anything different that the Galactic Shaman wants to share with us? The Empress. This is a woman who lives in nature, who is giving birth to something new. It's part of our destiny. You can see that there. It's part of the destiny. Interesting, two major arcanas right off the bat. One is uh, covering the Empress. So destiny is covering the Empress card, the abundance card. Oh, the other thing too. Look at, look at the honeycomb up at the top. Nice. Now what does the we have to say, oh, one of my favorites. Okay. We have the hard work, the Eight of Pentacles on the base. And in the past, as it relates, is the Death card. So where we're going with this so far is that we have the abundance of the Empress. It is our destiny to manage this and keep this going. It's going to take a lot of hard work with this. And we have to let go of our addictions. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong card. Um, we have to... Um, in. So I'm thinking of this death card in the... Rider weight, where he's stepping um, on where where the king has fallen or the emperor has fallen, and now it's time for the empress, the divine feminine. But either way, this is a new beginning. This is an ending of the old cycle and a new beginning. And at the top of the reading that overshadows it is the Hermit card. It's just a little reading, just lots of major arcanas. Major arcana cards are, are life cards, whereas the minor arcanas are the day-to-day -day cards. This is, this is big. Is, is big. And, and then, again, if you think of this Eight of Pentacles at the base as a minor arcana, look at that hammer. That'll leave a big knot on the noggin. All right. And the final card, 
the King of Cups. So I think about the King of Cups in, in this deck. And I think about Shell Woman. Shell Woman is someone who I was introduced to um, by Tony. And she sent me uh, a four-direction prayer. And in it, she calls on Shell Woman in the ocean from the West. And I find it interesting that we have so many um, divine feminine archetypes coming towards me in my awareness. And it ain't just the hair. But um, uh, a calf woman, white buffalo calf woman, the Marys. I mean, last time... At last year at this time, or two years ago at this time, I was like inundated with Mary Magdalene, um, Mother Mary, uh, there's others, and then Calf Woman, and then Shell Woman. And they're all, I mean, th there's so many, um, and that is coming to take for. All right. All right. So, um, cool. I got sidetracked. I had a little thing drop down. Um, the King of Cups. There's a protection to this. And I love the fact that this is the Joe Biden card. So, as we look to our leaders for strength and protection, a lot of it has to do with coming inside of ourselves and doing the work ourselves. But there is, um, and it feels like in this hermit card too, that there is an introspection that we need to do to get quiet, get alone, shine the light on some things. And as a community, we can um, dream our world that we want into existence. That's what shamans do. They use their imagination to dream their world into existence. And we can get into the different time streams and, and all sorts of things like that where... Well, if I imagine that I'm in a different place, am I in a different place? Yeah. Well, then you come back to this place. So, yeah, you can be. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. And um, peace and love.